Here's Kate, Jaylene, and Darling hiking up Manatee or the looking like they're doing some bear crawling. They want to be turn, turn into bears. We just hiked Manitou Springs. Not Manitou Springs. We hiked Manitou Incline in Which Manitou is Springs. In so we wanted Which is to do very close to Colorado Springs. We we're gonna do a little um, backpack reveal to talk about what we brought in our bag and if we needed it and if we didn't and what we should have brought. Well, um, Kate and I have a little bit more experience. But yes. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. Darlene was still very ready. Um, so I brought the typical, what did she bring? I brought hat and layers, which we did not need because it got really, really hot. And then yeah, I had- We took our layers off before we got started. Yeah, we took our layers off before we got started and I was stupid and I brought it in my bag with me. And I did not Kate, need to bring them with me. And Kate basically used all my water. So. I used all James's water, so my bag stayed heavy the whole time. Yeah. And I brought, I think I brought, I brought four waters and a Powerade. Oh, and apparently I brought a Gatorade too. I didn't know that. So I had a Gatorade also, which I did not drink any of this. And I had granola bars and nut bars. These are actually my new favorite for hiking because they're nuts, all nuts. <laughs> they're almonds, peanuts, and sunflower seeds. And then I had, of course, a battery pack, James's phone charger. No, I had my phone charger. Oh, he had his phone charger. It was in my pocket and I had your phone My GoPro with a clippy to go on my shoulder. And then, what else did I have? Extra batteries, and where'd my toilet paper go? And I brought a whole bag of toilet paper. Not a whole bag. It's gone. A Ziploc baggie of toilet paper in case anyone needed to go off trail somewhere. And I, I don't know, I don't think I would have changed much except for I didn't need the layers, but I've learned that it can get really cold at the top of the mountain really fast, so it's good to have them. And then I would always rather bring more water than nothing. But on the incline, honestly, I think it, we almost could have gotten by with like a small bag with camelback water and a few snacks. Because it's yeah. easier to hike this thing without. Not everyone bags. has a camelback. Cane. Wow, what did James bring? You brought a lot. Um, so <laughs> I brought some stuff, but um, I had my jacket, which is inside the house. Two bags of Lucky Charms <laughs> that I didn't eat. <laughs> My stocking cap in case it was cold. Some sunscreen that I used a lot. Because and it was I very did hot. not use it on my shoulders after I delayered. Apparently, I had this little neck shawl in case <laughs> it was cold. That's from the Grand Canyon. I had gloves from the Grand Canyon. Some gloves. No, I mean this is a different bag. Um, I brought some Skittles and Starburst that I didn't eat. <laughs> Two granola bars. I think my bag was the lightest so far. Um, I think I brought six waters, but now I only have two left. I drank most of his. Actually, he would get one out and then I would just steal it from him and take sips. Um, I brought I a Powerade, but I didn't drink it. And three oranges, which I didn't <laughs> So James did not use half of what he brought. And an extra shirt for some reason, in case I sweat a lot. <laughs> and that's it. So I packed kind of light, but not really. How is that light? That's light. For the Manitou Incline. Well, for the Manitou so, Incline. We're used to hiking when we do the Grand Canyon. I hiked the Grand Canyon hiking. the first time. I had 14 waters, like four <laughs> Powerades, and lots of snacks. So we have gotten a And bit. like five sets of clothes. So I've started to pack a little bit lighter. Okay. okay so now we get All to right. have. Darlene's turn. So James and I do a lot of hikes and a lot of. But I don't feel like I know what I'm doing. I still get really, really anxious with packing, and so I still overpack. But now we're gonna get a Darlene's bag reveal. Which, as we can already see, is a <laughs> lot bigger than your guys' bag. But I should also say, this is my also my BMX bag, so because it has my first aid kit in it. So I'll start from the biggest ones because I have the biggest items in it. Um, I did you also put, packed for two I kids. Did, yes, I did. I was carrying for three, not just me. And she has so, hand sanitizer on the side. So. And I do, yeah, I have hand Which, sanitizer well, on the side. I was driving my hand in, was in the dirt after yeah. because the and we did potty use was it. Nasty. Yeah. She has Germex. And With Michael Jordan was there. And Michael Jordan was there. <laughs> Says, yes. <laughs> um, I want. my layer I did take because because Kate took hers I took mine. I have lots of food I'm not gonna pull it all out and for some reason 
I Lots have, of fruit gushers. Yeah, I have. We have fruit gushers because that's my thing, and we have almonds and peanuts, and we also we. I like fruit leather. I like the stuff that's kind of healthier. The kids like the fruit brush, fruit gusher, gushers, but I like. Them I think too. the biggest thing with that would have been putting them in a Ziploc bag instead of a box. Yes. Yes. Because that would have been soft on your back. Yes, and everything, and. The boxes actually got wet from my sweat. <laughs> Another thing that I learned. Um, I carried oxygen. We teased her about this one at first when she said she was bringing two cans of oxygen. Did they get heavier and lighter? No, no, they're it's very awesome. light. So it added really no weight to my... That's good. Yeah. And her daughter had to use these yes. all the way up the trail because of asthma. Yes, Jaylene so... has asthma and it's very important to acclimate if you go to a higher climate. Which we we did come to a higher climate, but she has asthma. We did have we also have I have her inhaler in here too. And this helped a lot, I think. Yes. For her. I mean she lot, she yeah. was definitely more she energetic was, after every Yes, she one. she did start using it and she was she quickly noticed that taking the shots of the <laughs> oxygen helped her. But I do have two. This this is one. Oh. This is this is one official first aid kit. Um but then I also I have sanitizer wipes and sunblock and trash a deodorant and a pocket knife. I smell good on the trail. <laughs> right, well, well, this was Jaylene's and I teased her about that, but she wore shorter shorts than me and she used it for her legs for her shaving. That's smart. So it, I did tease her about it, but it came in handy for her. And then my other, my other first aid kit, <laughs> like, okay. Guys, it's my BMX bag too. I have Dramamine and vomit bags and melatonin. <laughs> I have Dermaplast spray, an inhaler, wound cleaner, Pepto. We were not gonna die on the trail today, guys. I also have blister band-aids and That's helpful. just in case something really savvy happens, there are whitening strips for your teeth in here. But like I said, this is my go-all bag. Um, this is the this, difference between hiking with two single, yes, or not single, two childless people. Two, and, and I'm packing mom. for three, and we usually are on bicycles when we're out. So apparently, we also but, got scraped up like we were on a bike. Yeah, I do. I had the blankets too. Ooh, the, so if we got cold, we could use blankets. Yes, like, but I already had layers and more band aids. I have band aids of all sizes. So. Even though we did have two get wounded and refuse service, <laughs> refuse care, <laughs> I should have I should have made them sign paperwork so they don't hold me responsible later. Hmm. So but, I guess even that's something like with she had sunscreen and he had sunscreen, so just to take off a few ounces of weight would be to have yes. collaborated on that and then like and, but oh. then didn't want to share. That. We we also <laughs> we didn't take time because nobody actually stopped long enough. Oh, I have we had Uno. Uno and Phase Ten, but I also told you we had Dose. So, she wasn't lying. We I had plenty lying. of games to entertain us on the trail. <laughs> we should have just lying. sat down and started playing at one of those break spots. Yeah. Why I, did we not? I don't. We probably would have had 10. too many people join us. Still be <laughs> <laughs> it was really busy on the trail it was um, for Saturday. It was wonderful <laughs> oh. weather. And we saw some people doing it. That, some people like run it every day twice. <laughs> Yeah, and we did. There was people lapping us. A lot of people. I mean, the trail down. We did. We didn't hike down. We hiked the. Um, well, we hiked down. We hiked the bar trail down, and that one was like a pretty easy, gentle hike. Besides being slicker, slippery with rocks, but um, I mean, besides being cold, it, I don't know. We didn't really need that much. One thing stuff. I like, like to wear when I hike it. is tights because if you fall down, then you don't scrape up your You just. But, Guess, then you get your tights, I guess. yeah, you rip your tights. And this way, I didn't ruin any. I didn't cool ruin any leggings. Start. Yes. There you go. I look like a night blood from the one show. What's the show? But I wear mine also because my knee. Keeps uh, he thinks it helps his knee. Yes. He thinks it does. <laughs> but yeah, so that's our um, learning as we go about how to pack. You definitely want to bring enough water, but, but a little, you don't a little necessarily over. have to overdo it.